just trying to we're trying to inform people that we've been lied to about who we are, where we are, the nature of the world, the nature of this reality, and they come by uh, being willing to test what the claims that we used to believe in the heliocentric globe. Uh, model. For me, it comes stems from a lot of finding out that a lot of history, a lot of these current events, and of course, 2020, a lot of things are uh, being managed, stage managed. Sure. So, so what do you mean? Believe. Or do you not? Believe I anything? have a belief that is that you are God. Yes. And that each of us is God in fractal, diminutive form. In the same way as if I had to cut an orange through and take out one single cell of that orange, that single cell would be completely orange, just very small in comparison to the whole. And that's what you are, that's what I am. And, and, and the way that works for me, this is obviously my belief, the way it works for me is that um, that, that when we come here, when we incarnate here, we incarnate almost carrying our own a decoder, an avatar that carries a decoder, and that decoder decodes the electromagnetic signatures that we see as trees and roads and people and all of that. <laughs> that I am the center of my universe, and equally you are the center of your universe. We should interact with the golden rule in mind to treat each other lovingly, you know, do no harm. That should be it. But really what you do in your universe should be untainted by me. I should not be able to come into your universe for any reason. Okay. And that's how I see the world has been constructed, or, or rather by the creator intended. But in the world, the way it's constructed is that the system never wants you to know that. It never wants to know how close you are to the creator, how close the creator's intention is riding inside you, the light of Christ, or whatever you want to call it. So who doesn't want to see that, sorry? I don't know whether it's God that said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set myself a challenge. I'm going to go in there, forget who I am. I'm going to make it a slog. I'm going to make it really, really hard for me. I'm going to see if I'm going to get caught up in the Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm going to get all caught up with that stuff. I'm going to find my true center myself. And I'm going to come back to love and so on in this incarnation. It could be that, that God said it like that. Or it could be a Minecraft game where some dude came 5,000 years ago and said, you know what? I could control all of the land that you inhabit so that when you arrive here you immediately have to pay me tax Caesar's tax and, and in the way of that we're going to control our population in the way that we do we're going to and you know none of it's not all bad but we're going to come about with laws and rules and so on and that's what we're but, so it could be controlling men or God's intent it could be the devil me yeah. okay. do you mind? I kind of like I can't ask a question I'm filming me at the moment, so I won't film you if you feel uncomfortable asking questions. I want to learn. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, and, it, and it's right in your face, so it doesn't need to be. I'm happy to film myself. I've been doing it for a few years now. Um, what, what is your... Where, did, where is your... Your start is No. No, because that's what you started with. Yeah, you that's said, what I got You're to. opening up. Yeah. That, uh, we're all fractal. Oh, okay, yeah. Fractals. So you've taken God's start. Yeah, that's your start, right? Oh, can I say it was my end point? Like I, got, I came to God the other way around. I was atheistic at 45. I didn't take anything, any God. But I had a DMT experience at 47, I think. And that DMT showed me that there is something much more than just the Darwinian science that I completely held to. That was me, man. I was Darwinian. All of it. All of it. I bought it all. Uh, so, so I had first of all like the, the stories of 9/11 and all these things started falling apart for me in 2014, 15, and then I took the dream, and then I was presenting dimethyltryptamine. It's created in your lungs. It's a uh, name the God particle, ayahuasca. You can of ayahuasca. But you can you, you can Google uh, or YouTube uh, the God particle. DMT uh, is made in your in your lungs. So people do breathing techniques to try and release this Kundalini to get this like higher opening uh, and until I had that happen to me, I was an So that was my starting point. Not my starting point, because I was already questioning my reality. I was really starting to, you know, the, the authority figures that I held dear, they were starting to break down to me when I was realizing that 9 11 is what they told us. That means that the Russians and others are involved. And then the moon landings. Oh, you haven't got that far yet. Okay. What do you mean that? Okay, so if we take that one, what if I said it was a controlled demolition? 
Well, the evidence that I used to, because I, be, I believe the story for the first 10 or 12 years, uh, and I believe that fires on the 80th story were hot enough to meet, melt the steel beams on the 20th floor. That's not reality. Reality is the heat will rise and it will wick through the steel very quickly. Same with your barbecue. The legs don't get hot no matter how long it's running along that barbecue. Yeah, they conduct heat. And yeah, they conduct heat, but you know what? They wick it away very quickly. So you can hold an iron rod that's red on one hand, and on the other hand, you can still hold it, right? And, and even though the, the hot end is going to start melting, the other end will not lose its structural integrity. And we're talking about hundreds of meters. So no, I don't believe that they can just crumble in 11 seconds to the floor in the on the basis that they did. So yeah, I suggest that. What about Building 7? Did you look at Building 7? Uh, so my friends were like six years ago. Uh, and also, uh, building 7 is also Twin Towers, you know, it's the same. Yeah, the third tower that came down. That was 50 stories, mate. And it came down in seven seconds. You can't do that to a building. that's been deliberately held. Sorry, just going, you're moving on too far. Sorry, sorry. I know you think they've covered up that it was a controlled demolition. No, it was designed to, it was, this is going to be a real reach for you, but it was actually built to come down 33 years later. It was built to come down when it did. It's a symbolic, we're involved in a, in a system that gives us these ritual events. Did you see the Georgia Guidestones came down recently? No. Okay, so the Georgia Guidestones, I mean, they're massive. I need Well, good luck. Look, electromagnetic universe is what I talk about a lot, and it's more important than flat Earth in a way. Take a flyer. Take a flyer. Not that one. There's no religion where I'm at. No religion, no belief. There's no belief. I gave you my belief, but the fact is what is left. That's a belief. That's a belief. So if I've got a snooker table, it's a new painting stand, it's not a big nice sort. It's no sort of I've got a long past. Yeah, they're all right. 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 Yeah, they're and then one day I took some photographs of something very strange in the sky. Next to the sun there were two orbs at about 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock. Next, uh, sorry, the same afternoon, there was loads of these lights in the sky. So I started researching what was in the sky? just orbs of light oh. in the daytime. So I photographed it all. I started looking at what they were, orbs of light, I don't know. They are locally called Foo Fighters. Started looking into that, looked in the moon landings for some reason. Who was your source? Me. I, I had to start questioning things. I didn't know these guys existed. Are you a flat earther? I'm a human. Oh. Yeah, but but I know that the Earth is in a globe. Yeah. But based on based on that, um, it's seventy percent water that we live on apparently. And, uh, and three quarters. That's about seventy percent, seventy five percent. I wouldn't. Yeah. 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 Actually, I think it's sixty six point nine wow. or something. Wow. Really? That yeah. would be two thirds then, not three quarters. That's what I meant. Oh, okay. Well, so. Just with that basis, if I had to shrink the earth down to the size of a public swimming pool, an Olympic swimming pool, if I had to shrink the earth down to that and say now it's not uh, that big, it's just a swimming pool, I could put some big rocks in that. I could put big, big rocks in that and make those my continents. If I had to cut an orange through the center, yes. if I had to cut, cut an orange through the center and open it up, magnify it up a billion times, the seeds in the middle become the continents I around which there's oceans. I see where you're going oceans. with this. Um, yeah. Waters. That, that the same could be said if it's a globe. How so? Uh, we're, we're contesting that water can't stick to the outside of a ball, ma'am, and we can't walk on a ball. I say that a gas can be an or a container. In a container, the ozone, correct. Yeah. It has to be a container. And, and I'm not really here to convince you otherwise. I'm just curious to know. Like, no, we're, try, we're trying to offer you some things to think about. Because, as you said, a container. Well, they say that gravity is the container. That's impossible. No, it's that's. I don't know who said that, but the ozone is what's keeping. Ozone is a gas. Yes. So you've got a gas as a barrier for your container. For yeah, for a lot. Yeah. Otherwise, it's. We know that in thermodynamics, you do know gas I'm will go. Too, right? Yeah, cool. And you, but you flew for what ten hours, nine hours across the pond. 
Did you feel any change? Eight hours. Yeah. yeah. Did you feel any change in your aspect? Yeah. Did you think That's like? What she was did saying. you feel like the plane was going down or or was yeah, just staying level? I felt my stomach. What? I felt my stomach yesterday. Was it? Was that like, like it did this? Turbulence? Okay, turbulence is not the same as going like down. Though, yeah? Like if you're going down and facing down towards the ground, which is what you do over nine or ten hour flights. You change your angle on a globe about ninety degrees. You and I Yeah, and you know that altitude is given above sea level. Is what? The altitude of the plane is about thirty-five thousand feet, forty thousand feet, right? Yeah. Above what? The earth. Above what? Sea level. Above sea level. The daughter's being more honest than you. It's above sea level. Yes. It's above sea level. Which sea level? Generally, it's about the same except for I think Salt Lake City is a little below. Still over the Atlantic. Still over the Atlantic, yeah. Or the Arctic. Yeah. Yeah, Arctic. yeah, yeah, you get up to sort of north, yeah. Because the maps, we believe, the maps are not actually accurate. There is no one given globe that's truly said this is the exact option of the globe. Good okay, good luck. Thanks. Thanks, Steve. I like your explanations. I'm honing it slightly. It's a different uh, vibe today. I think the Rolling Stones last week was made it for an interesting, a uh, slightly more older crowd. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, that's maybe just the energy today. We're almost at the full moon. Yeah, yeah. Should be a long. Yeah. Good to see Duran Duran fan. I like your look, man. Is that the Duran Duran look or? It's a Billy Idol look. Billy Idol. Yeah. It's fantastic, man. The best punk rock ever. Uh huh. Okay, cool. As soon as you know him. Uh, I know that, man. Did you know Billy Idol was a flat earther? Hey? He knew the earth wasn't a globe. Check it out. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> There's flirting going on here. There's Harry. Hi, how are you? Hi, yeah. Hi, Lee. Hello, Lee. <laughs> Good, man. You made it. Nice one, yeah. I made it. On time, as always. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Beautiful day, man. It's the Mediterranean today. Yeah, it feels like it. I didn't put my bag down. I'm playing for tennis in um, three hours or so. Oh, you look like you've just come from the tennis. Yeah. I'll just put up because just to kill two birds with one stone type thing. Yeah. Yeah, there's no tennis in this area at the back. The window in the room. Well, well, how long have you guys been here? It's about one o'clock. Yeah. 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 Well, are you on the tour? Yeah. Oh, well done. I'm gonna try and make the Birmingham one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try and make some All right. more if I can. Yeah. I'll be, I think I'll be in Hull, uh, not Hull. Um, uh, Bath. Say again. I'll be in Bath on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't work miracles like I used to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's things are a bit more tight. Yeah. Yeah. Hear you, man. It's been hard at work. Earth is flat. You do not live on a globe. It's not moving. We can't prove water is bending. Water's level. The sky is moving, not the earth. We've got no science experiment that will show us to be moving. Only the lights that move. So easy. And water is level. Small level, large level, ocean level, sea level. No, no, I mean, for some reason. The earth is flat, not spinning. You do not live on a spinning globe, that's a lie designed to diminish and demean you. 
You live on a flat stationary earth. Earth is not a globe. You've been lied to, brainwashed, demeaned and diminished to, to reduce you from knowing ever, ever knowing who you are. I'm losing my thread. I need to take a little break. Earth is flat. Earth is not a globe. You've been lied to. NASA is a hoax. Earth is not a globe. Water is level. Water is level. I want to know about this flat earth theory. All please. right, brother. Oh, for me, oh, for me, I leave. Please, oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just. I'm so curious. at the age of 47, I used to believe uh, that uh, Muslims. You're me. me. No, no, no. You couldn't tell. Me. At the age of 47, I used to believe that the Muslims did 9/11. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. Then I found out that uh, uh, the moon landings were hoax. Okay. This I uh, looked at, and then I found it was a formula for the curvature of water on the globe. If you live on a ball, every ball has got the same amount of bendingness. Yeah. Any any football, any ball, no matter the size, always curved, always bending, no flat spots, right? So if it's mostly water, that bending should be most obvious and most clear to see over the water where there's no up and down mountains, whatever, whatever. But I looked at that, I was like, no, no, no. I can see 20 miles further, maybe over water to the beach on another side, Morocco from Spain. I can see this with my own eyes on a globe that's impossible because there should be a curve of water in front of it. So I, I, I found this in 2015, did a whole lot of research into it and like shit, my whole reality fell apart because of like, no, if they can fake that and, and all the governments of the world are going along with it, particularly the Russians, the Americans, then the wars they fight are only designed to keep us from each other. Could I say one thing then? And this is a, a counter to you, I'm not disagreeing with you, yes. I'm just saying... Have you um, researched this parallel to your research maybe about light refraction, how um, we see things optically, how the light bounces off the earth and how it may appear? Because um, like, let's say even certain um, ancient Greek temples were built in a way like slightly slanted and whatnot. So when you look at it from the outside, optically it would seem straight. But if you measure it, it's got a curvature, if you understand what I'm saying. so. Maybe we're looking 50 miles and it seems straight because of light refraction and whatnot. But I'm not saying that is the truth. I'm just saying okay, that might be okay. another, another well, let, thing to look at. Yeah, okay. So, I, so in seven years, like I've, 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 been, I've been four Have years... Have you looked at that though? Yeah. I've been four years doing activism in the street and people have offered me the same thing. But they often say, why can't I see the... Statue of Liberty from here. Yeah. Well, because we know that the further something goes away, the more it shrinks, right? It gets smaller. We also know that our atmosphere is full of water. And we know that water bends like. You can put a pencil in the water, it will kind of create for the. Faraday got. Um, I forget the name of it. But anyway, there's a law for it. There's a rule for it, right? So we know that when we're looking over a distance, say we're on a plane, we can see a real good distance. By then, if it's 100 miles, I'm looking through actually a lot of water. And it could be a magnifying glass, it could convex or concave things. So it could create a situation where I think I'm seeing things going down. So because it might be a trick of the eye, the eye's a ball, and so we see things in a round kind of way maybe. This is why people who look into the science of it, they, at the back of your eye you've got these, these cones and rods that are in a round like shape at the back ball at the back of the ball. So maybe this is why things appear to be round and as I say if I'm looking in the distance 10 miles I, and I, I can look all the way around it's all a circle around me because I can only see 10 miles 10 miles 10 miles 10 miles 10 miles that's why it might appear to be round so let's measure it let's say we could say take a boat one mile over the water and take a laser to that boat and go okay that's still level two miles 10 miles then I ask a friend of ship captain okay you're one mile ahead of me am I coming over a curve 10 miles am I coming over a curve no what, what we were taught in school is that when you stand on the beach, you see the ship go over the curve. Now with the powerful telescope cameras they got, you can easily go back there 10 minutes after it, uh, the ship went away, zoom into that spot and find the ship comes back. Why? Because your eyes have lost it in the distance of the atmosphere and the size gets smaller and smaller for my eyes, so I could not see it at 20 miles, 10 miles, you know what I mean? Okay, so can I ask you, um, what, what are your views on how the Earth was created? Uh, 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 not, not on a spiritual level, yeah. on a simply material level, how the, the, the Earth came it, to be. It's almost like a, a Big Bang story, but in the quantum physics way, where you it's electromagnetic. And when you get an electromagnetic process, I think Tesla was into this, 
when you get electromagnetic process going, it starts to be self-fulfilling. So it can actually grow. You can get uh, electricity creates mag magnetism, then the magnetism creates more electricity. And so you've got a yin-yang male-female uh, loop going of creating electricity and magnetism, more magnetism. And eventually, pardon me, where do they come from? Wait, 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 let me finish, please. Okay, so, so don't, then, don't answer that, so, okay, so when you, it's hard, it's hard because I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, and I don't have, yeah, and I don't have, I don't have, I don't say I know that answer. All I, do, I say to people is it's like the Russian doll scenario. Like if I, if I give you this, the Russian nest of dolls, it's small doll in the middle, that's you, the big doll on the outside, that's all, Allah, that's everything. And, and, and so how, how Allah or God create, uh, makes the decision to say, I'm going to create a smaller realm for me to come and experience myself. You know, is that a decision? Is this just nature? And as I said, in quantum, like things slowly cycling up until light becomes in a dark or in a black hole, light becomes so dense, it takes on mass. And I think that's what's happening here is that we're actually taking on mass because we're condensed light. We are actually just dense light, but we are, here yeah, humans or mankind is carrying a spark of the creator that the creator wanted and said, look, I'm so great. Uh, I'm all, everything. I can create a billion of myself, tiny little me's to go around versus the me have different experiences. It could be as simple as that. Okay. Um, all right. I'm not saying not, none of this as counts as I be, yeah, because I'm, 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 I'm still out on is the earth circle or flat here. But um, if we look at it like in a natural sense, and for me, I'm not, I, I'm not going to use the word logical and saying you're being illogical, but for me, what's more logical, a natural shape is more spherical in yes. everything I could see. Yes, Do you understand? The trees are around, uh -huh. a rock doesn't break in a square, it might break flatly and have flat edges, yeah. but it will be ultimately yeah. spherical. Do you understand? So naturally, if, if something happened in the universe, yeah. collision and whatnot, why wouldn't I put two and two together and say that the outcome would be a spherical? Okay. Do you uh -huh. understand what yeah. I'm saying? Okay. Two, one question first and then I'll tell you, give the answer. Okay. Have you ever played football? Yeah. Did you play on a round pitch? No, of course. Or yeah, a flat, yeah, pitch? Yeah, yeah, flat pitch? So it's much easier to play on a flat pitch. Yeah, if yeah, I gave yeah. you a ball shaped pitch, you'd laugh at me and say, I can't play on that pitch. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that's, that's, that's logical to say, I need to play on a flat surface. Yeah. I need things to be flat. Now, when you say round, I absolutely agree with you. The orange, the gray, the pear, uh, not the pear so much, but, uh, you know. No, but it's still of a spherical shape. Correct. Can you name me one of these fruits that has no skin? Grows with no skin? Of course not. In nature, logical, everything needs a skin. Everything needs to be contained. If I break the skin, I hurt it. I damage the tree, I ring the tree, it dies. Peel the orange, it dries. So, so I say that our Earth, being a, 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 a macrocosm of the microcosm, would be a, 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 an orange. It would be an orange. It would be a, 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 a no black sterile, as no grass side says. But we cannot live on the on the outside of the orange skin. The fruit's not on the outside of the skin. The fruit, God's fruit, must be on the inside, protected within the skin. That is the best point for me you've made. That is the best point. I'm glad you're a thinking man. I can tell you're thinking man because that's when you think about that, you go, okay, because you want to you want to base your theories on what you can see and test and what God is creating. God has created every one of them with its own unique bark skin what does the skin do skin protected from the environment yeah, yeah. so if you take that analogy that you're saying then the dome outside is quite a fake news because it is holy quran yeah, yeah. So, so what's outside of that no claims i don't know so i say to you if we were if we were living inside one grape and we were on a bunch of grapes, I wouldn't know that. But skin, the definition of a skin is protected. Yes. I don't think that analogy is suitable to say that. You know, that's Have you ever been in a vacuum chamber? Do you know if you went in a vacuum chamber, you would die instantly? So you know, NASA has never put a man in a spacesuit in a vacuum chamber. Why? Because their spacesuits don't go to space and it's so violent, no one can go in there, so they don't do it. See, so the, what, they, what the claim is, is that there is a violent vacuum next to a gas. Now I'm saying there must be a, a rind, there must be a skin, otherwise that would be like opening the fruit here. The skin does is protected from something outside. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So, so in like the Old Testament, yeah, so in the Old Testament, we think, I think it might be water. 
Like the autism test 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 I'm not claiming to be in outer space. I'm not claiming to be say that there's this, you must believe that, there's aliens, there's other things. I'm not claiming any of that stuff. What I'm saying is is that we, it makes sense that there's something outside, but I don't know. When we look into the, the blue sky above, well, it could be water. When we look at the, the stars a acting like they do, well, we can fire a, a frequency into water and get the star to fire in the jar. The thing is, yeah. the thing is, the thing is, the we can't go back in time. We can't go back in time to come up with the cosmology or the proper one from the beginning to the end. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm not a Muslim. But that's the reason why we're going to have so many questions. Because I'm not going to go far to a certain extent. But it's never going to be complete because of it's not going to come positive. Just like the way religion or science claims to have. Well, if I was talking to offer you that up until three or four hundred years ago, for sure, none of the ancient cultures thought they lived on a globe. None of the ancient cultures lived on a globe. None of them. None of them. The first globe, the very first one to be invented, which would have been in one guy's room, is apparently 500 years old. That's a short opinion. Sorry. That's, that's, a, opinion. that's wiki. That's that's a fact. I don't know. The oldest globe is 500. Well, if you, you can research that before no, every, everything else was flat. Yeah, flat maps. I don't know about that. Maybe that's just how they saw it. Bro, if, if, if you and I believe we lived on a mountain and our children said, hey, let's make us a model of that mountain, they, you'd be able to do that with them. So, so if you told your children, hey, we live on a globe, we're going to show you what that looks like. We're going we're gonna to build a little paper mache wall and we're going to kind of, we, we've, got a, we've got old maps that go back more than 500 years. So we're going to put those. So you're saying that because they never had a globe, yeah. that's, why they, that's why the earth is not a globe. Well, no, I'm saying that they never had to even contemplate <laughs> whether it was flat. Everybody well, knew it. It doesn't say nothing about the earth itself. It just says things about what people perceive back then. Yeah, so I'm just saying that we didn't have, we didn't have any... If you go back to the philosophies of Pythagoras, yeah. they talk about the ground, the sphere of the objects. Yeah, but then, yeah, remember that they were still like the heliocentrists, as a geocentrists, where they were putting the so Earth... I'm just trying to say that your example, yeah. that your example, that guy 300 years back, no one believed in yeah. whatever there was... Well, how could you believe in something you never seen? I'm just giving an example that you can go back further than that and show that people believe the converse. Yeah. What, what, that it was a globe? Yeah. No, they, what they believed was that the, that the Earth was in the middle and that the Sun was going around it but but there was this stretch towards it being like out in space rather so, than inside the enclosure which is what the old testament and other no, but philosophy says. says that it was spherical philosophy. Greek philosophy says that. Look that up. Look that up. Yeah. earth is flat earth is flat being lied to you do not live on a globe the globe is for monkeys the globe is for evolutionists. The globe is for globalists. Earth is not a globe. Earth is flat and not moving. The sky moves, the sun moves, but you are not moving other than when you walk. Okay, have you got it? No. Okay. We'll get back to that guy. Earth is flat. I don't want to waste of breath. There is a lot of activity going on here. A lot of activity. Chamsi. Hey man. Okay. 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 Okay.
Oh, we've got our cameras. Hey, how's it going? All right, yeah. All right, buddy. Do you know, I'm trying to look for my friend, man. He's just called me, but... What, the tennis player? Yeah, the tennis player. I can't find him. We're not finding him. Okay. Earth is flat. You do not live on a spinning rock. You've been lied to by NASA and your government. Water is level, provable over any distance. Ticket. Ticket. Got ticket. Ticket for? Oh. oh, no, I'm not a Duran Duran. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I'm, I'm uh, doing activism. Activism? He's active. What are you doing? Are you showing me? Yes. Here, I have Coca Cola. Go on, no, thank you. Are you from America? South Africa. South Africa? Mm. You're not from South Africa, man. Yeah, no. You're from, you're from uh, yeah, Holland. Yeah, Holland. You're Dutch. Yeah. No, no, well, yeah, so I'm, I'm Aristotle. You're, you're, you're ready. Ready. Yeah. Aristotle, 322 BC, yeah. was the first to recognize the fact that our planet was being around the sphere. He observed the lunar eclipses and noticed that only a round shadow could imply a circular shadow. This astronomical observation was confirmed by general ob observations made at sea. Okay. So that Can was I have a stop in Greece? So I'm okay. just to show you. All right. Do you believe uh, the Bible? No. Okay. No, 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 that's no, no, about no. the same age, right? No, it's older. Okay. So you don't believe that, but you, be you want to believe Aristotle. Now, let me tell you about the solar uh, lunar eclipse. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. You, lunar eclipse. you just said something. Let me answer you on the reason why I believe Aristotle is because he's the one that made the foundational academic structure for our schools and everything today. Okay. So our indoctrination. Not indoctrination. It is indoctrination, structure. brother. The scientific method, for example. Okay. And all of this stuff. What's the curvature over water using scientific hmm? method? So what is curvature over water? I don't know. Just giving you just just giving you some explanations about. So here's something that kills that what you just said. It doesn't kill it. No, no. Well, you haven't heard what I've said. Listen to me. Let me tell you that there's been at least five lunar eclipses with the sun in the sky at the same time. Okay. That kills what you just. You've got to prove. You've got to show me proof. Well, I mean they've been recorded by people. Have to show me proof of Aristotle. So you're not going to show me proof. I don't. I can't Google it for you now. Okay. But I'm just saying stuff. You have to show everything. Maybe bring a clipboard. Yeah. A laptop with next time. A friend of mine does it with uh, yeah. videos. He shows yeah, people yeah. videos. Do you know that there's no there's no photographs of any satellite in space? Not no, one. No, next time, bring some evidence for me that, and then we'll have a chat. Because well, I've just showed uh, you Aristotle and shown that that's not. That's not your evidence. Aristotle. My evidence is that water is level. Just show it because you said to me that you're, you're reading years me ago, Wikipedia that also said, tell you, you that, that Jesus was the son of God. You just said to me that 300 years ago people believed it was. Flat. Earth is flat. You do not live on a spinning ball. You've been lied to by NASA. Water is level. Water levels over a lake, over an ocean. Water is level. Space is fake. Outer space is in your mind. You must be. Earth is flat. It's not a globe. You've been lied to about that. You do not live on a spinning ball. You live on a flat earth inside a container. Earth is flat, not a globe. I'm a little contentious today. I think I need to have a smoke break. You cannot test it, can you? I can go to people who can. You can't. No, you. No, I don't have any equipment. But if I had the equipment, I can test it. If you had the equipment, maybe you can test it. Because I don't have the tools available to do the job, I'm not capable of doing the job. That would be crazy. You're not arguing. I am saying, I'm saying, you're not saying. I am saying, I am saying, all we're dealing with is interpretations. Of yeah? everything is interpretations, but the skin is in making the best right. interpretation based on and the best assumptions. Okay. A lot of assumptions. Everything is based on assumptions, but the best interpretation is the one that creates well, the most I'm, I'm glad that you admitted that totally. most of science is based on no, assumptions. It's always begging the question. No. Okay. The globe is always no. begging the question. I'm primarily here for the philosophy, so I know that so everything is totally based on assumptions. The sun. Everything under the belt. Uh, I can look it up for you. Supposedly 93 million miles, yeah? Don't let, him get, don't let him get off redshift. Okay. We've got him on the road. So, so change the distance five times. Let me look up redshift. Okay. Change look up redshift. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Okay. Let me change my position. Fun and fun.
I'm saying it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, I haven't looked into it. Right, okay. There's a lot of, there's a huge um, amount of this, of this thing, so I haven't looked into everything. Okay, Do you expect me to know no, everything? No, I don't. I appreciate, you're going to be failing the sake. I appreciate your honesty, and you may be right. I'm looking at methodology. But in methodological terms, given that you haven't looked yet, but our representatives have looked, the point is, could you give the possibility the that maybe is, the data, so let me finish, maybe the data they're bringing to the table is relevant because it's totally self-consistent with their premise, but it's not self-consistent with yours. So maybe you should Just because I don't know, it. just because I don't know, doesn't mean it's not self-consistent. I, I already conceded that. I don't know that. But I'm saying... So you can't make that, um, so that assumption. I just did. I no, said you my, can't make that assumption my, my just because I don't know yeah. It's not self-consistent. Because well, I could go to another flat well, over, and he might have looked into it. Good. I don't know. All I said was, either of us could be right, but my test of a good model is one which is self-consistent given the maximum amount of data. On one topic that I don't on happen all to know. No, on all topics. On all Actually, the only the point of, um, that you've got flat earthers, the, flat, the point that you've got flat earthers is that we're looking at your model, it doesn't work. Well, you're not looking at some of the data we're trying to show you that you don't seem to want to look at, which has to do with redshift and our model is entirely You're hanging on to this just because I, I couldn't hanging, answer it. I'm not hanging yeah, on. Okay, so question. <laughs> question. Sorry? Yeah, so, so all, the, all the videos we have. So Say again? Have. Private space flight because is taking off right now. I'm right? Sorry, you're blocking his camera. Just every, so there's not a single video. Just 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 where a rocket leaves off. There's yeah. Yeah. A video footage from ground to space. And it's yes, they do. CGI, bro. That works in my favour. That works against me. Yeah, it's green screen. It's CGI. It's not finger I bought a green screen box. How stupid of me. Seriously, the guy is home. You can move across a bit. There's a camera on the ground. Really is. Around space. You can see the entire drone. Cool. But that water does show us something, doesn't it? That water will show us what levels of stuff. No, 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 I can't hear you. It's getting louder and louder here. Sorry, let me try one thing at a time. Yeah, you focus on the earth. I would be very inclined to disagree. Right, so what I did, right? I took a, um, a, a, got a video from, uh, from YouTube of the space shuttle um, filmed from a, a passenger jet, okay? So, when that space yeah, shuttle took off, yeah. right. 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 yeah. when the space shuttle happen. took off, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the moment it passed the horizon, right, because the, um, the horizon always rises up to, to eye level, that means that horizon is seven miles up, okay? Because from the viewpoint of that plane at 35,000 feet, seven miles up, right? The horizon was right there. That seven means miles. seven miles up, 35,000 feet. Okay? Okay, sure. Right. So that was a, a measuring stick we've now got. Seven miles, yeah? Now I, I literally took all the pictures of this video, I, I took snapshots of the video, yeah, and pieced together the entire curve of that, that tape off, yeah? And extended the measuring stick. Okay, and the important thing is it was always to the eye level of the observer. Okay, so you so okay, so planes coming this way. Just let me let me clarify what the view is. So passenger jet coming here. Yeah, well, so, okay, this is the rocket, right? Let's say this is the station. No, 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 listen to what he said first. He is He's saying the rocket's gone up and the, 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 I left the horizon has not, you know, it's always the same to what he's looking at. From now, the passenger jet. At, at, yeah. at this point in time, you need an imagination. Because what that means is... <laughs> I prefer imagination. video proof. Okay, well, well, we can use both. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Imagine it, imagine. No, okay. it so you're the guys, on the planet Just no listen, this is really important, right? So let's just imagine this is the horizon. Yeah. We're rising. And it's always to that eye view of the observer. What There's does that tell you? What, is that, what does that tell you? I'm not even understanding your question. Wait, Sorry. Because Maybe that's, I'm that's black why you don't get all this. Okay, what's the scenario? What's the scenario? Okay, so no, you're right. Which, could you answer my question? Well, this is well, you handle it from here, Dave. You handle it from here. So, what's the video? So, space shuttle is, is rising. So, the yeah, aircraft, aircraft, yeah, aircraft going along here. Okay. Space shuttle is rising. Okay, right, so the PhD the people and scientists are always at the eye level of the observer. I know. You were going to drop the thing. I know. So, he's looking straight. Because they keep dragging you off topic. Just get them on one simple point. The point. But they're re dragging the and to a different context and he's falling for it because he's knowledge. When that space shuttle hits the Strangely enough, his knowledge base is working against. Because it's not strategic. Because we know where the passenger plane was. Okay, yes. sure. Okay. Right. So that's a measuring stick. A measuring yeah? stick. Okay. So I extended the measuring stick up, yeah? I took the video, right? And uh, the snapshots of the uh, trajectory, right? And, and put all the snapshots together uh -huh. to get the accurate trajectory. And it curved under 70 miles. Yes. Now, because, okay, let me explain a really 
key principle of rocket science. In order to get into orbit, you need to go sideways really fast. Not up. You need to go sideways really fast. That's why it comes. So they're not in the atmosphere. Yes, you start going right in the atmosphere. You start going right in the atmosphere. If you get to 70 miles, you don't go any higher. Okay, because remember the Kármán line is 100 miles. Yes. Right? 70 miles up. You don't get any higher because, again, the, the curve starts going down now. Yeah. You realize if I shot a gun at, like, if I shot something at enough speed, just straight that way, and it hit nothing, it would be in orbit. That's uh, Newton's well, no, cannon. Well, obviously he doesn't believe that. That's Newton's cannon, right? And that's, that's Newton's cannon. Well, there's, never been shown, right. Right. there's never been right. shown. There are, there are several problems with that, yeah, that idea. Okay. You don't believe in escape an orbital velocity? No, that's, uh, that's no, of course a, a he doesn't because he thought. thinks he has. Okay, seriously. Did you, I think you mind? you're the most. Do you no, mind? I do, madam. Talk to him for a second. You're, I think you're the most knowledgeable guy around here, okay? However, well, strategically, you're, you're right. falling into their trap. No, you're Stick right. them no, on the red right. 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 the the I've, I've got them on the, the height of the stars, okay? He's admitted that if the height of the stars above the Earth isn't, say, a couple of hundred thousand feet, uh -huh. hundred miles, right. then his theory's got a fundamental problem with it. Uh -huh. I've kicked back in by talking about Doppler effect, right. yeah, right. and redshift, which we have measured. Right. He has said that you he... measured, so you measured. No. Oh, no, we measured. He said it. Technically, you got me on sophistry. The position that we represent... Your represents, religion represents... My religion your has re appear, apparently measured, yeah, okay? Yeah. Now, given that our guys seem to have data that you haven't yet seen, I'd like to do you the courtesy of showing you that data so you can explain to us. Because As our I model... Said, watch your it's test... something I haven't looked at okay, yet. Okay, so until you have... Is it possible you And you are something? hanging on to because it's the only no, no, thing no, you can I'm hang not, on to. No, it's not the like only thing. Like a dog with no, a it's a central thing that exists that is uncontroversial. Okay, so, okay, so all, there's a lot of video out there of, sure. that, that, of, of, from space, from the ISS, it's from various blocking. different satellites. It's still blocking. What do you say to all that footage? Okay. okay. Just we that find, line. When we started, Just don't block it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We find well, you are. Mistakes in Go here. Go that side. Oh, good idea. There's one famous one with three three astronauts, three or four astronauts, in front of the camera doing their, their little thing, right? And they say, okay, thank you very much. You know, you can, you know, the event has ended. And all of a sudden, that particular video layer with them and a few items in the foreground starts to glitch. Yeah? Literally, the shape of them, the three men, right? All the colors start to meld in, including a green color that wasn't in the background. Okay, it's a green screen glitch. I found drips dropping from the, in the background. There's a video of um, a Dutch astronaut floating to a panel, unscrewing a screw and dropping it. And you can, see, you can hear it clattering around and then searching around in the floor for it. Yeah? Um, in the Chinese uh, space station, right? We've seen all the little little jokes of the water in a, in a ball and going, oh, all that, yeah? There's a glass of water sitting on there, level. Right? There's mistakes. If you look for them. This is obviously not going to go for him. Like, he's no, no, not no, going to explain. Just stick to the one oh, point. The red stick. Okay, yeah, 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 the one, one go point. Go for the one point I said I don't know anything about. Okay, so, I want to, so leave it. No, no, no. That's because why, no, we found an area where you're ignorant. Let us pursue that for you. Oh, for crying out Because I can't okay, so why, why would they fake it? Why would they fake it? Just because it's high on the horizon. And why the eye level always goes to the horizon. When you're ready. The horizon, the eye level always goes to the horizon. Think of that. Just think of that. Forget all this other shit about the thing that you're using. Don't let him shift you. There's a great question. That's the key thing. If they can get that horizon, that's it. It's done. Why please, please, please come. It matters. Yeah. There's a lie. Why? It's okay. Let me, let me, let me have you answer that one. Why? 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 What's the purpose? Like, okay. if they were lying, what would it serve? What purpose would it serve? So, if you take the uh, the baller theory, the theory of evolution, and the Big Bang theory... Oh, you don't theory, believe in evolution either? No, Are you getting even more distracted? Let me, okay. Let me, right. just, just, sorry, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to answer yeah, why. Right. I'm going to try and answer, but... If you can stay out of it while I'm answering this one's questions. Because well, he's an easier hit. No, um, he's, he, he's listening. Right. He's, <laughs> listening. Yeah, he's, he's listening. He's, 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 he's not interrupting me. He's listening and he's not interrupting me. He asked me the question. Evolution. Did you not ask me the question? Yeah, you were headed into evolution. Right. No, I'm not. I, just, I was you just asking him that wriggly shot. My bad. Alright, sorry, go ahead. What, so what's the purpose? Just like, we'll go look back to it, but like, what's the purpose of it? He's trying to distract. He's stuck in the diving. No, you asked the question. I'm not distracting. I'm answering the question. 
Right. I understand so, it's a religion under attack. With those three, the, those three really theories, hurts, right? No, not at it all. Makes it makes a religion. Not the the globe one is a religion. I've got far bigger, far bigger fish to fry than worrying about this silly. It's a religion. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. A religion. Yeah. There's no yeah. creator. It's all yeah. built by yeah. Alan Dunn. Yeah. 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 You have no purpose. You're less than worthless. Because there's millions of other planets. There's millions of other people around and all that stuff. Sounds about right, yeah? Right. If for a small group of people, Right, to, to enslave um, 7 billion people, right, you need to first psychologically weaken them. And that's what this does. It's psychologically weakened. I mean, some seems not have distracted the, you know, thousands, millions of people who are, who are religious. Sorry, say again? There's millions of people who are religious. So it doesn't seem to have distracted them. Unfortunately, that. though, in the back of everyone's psyche is this idea that we don't have a purpose. So powerful people on this earth, right, give us a purpose. You know what that purpose is? Do well at school, get a good job, earn lots of money, get meaningless crap until you die. How far away That's from the purpose. point did you now let them take you? Okay, I, 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 he asked, I, 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 I asked a question. He asked a question. Into semantics and conspiracy oh, theories instead of trying to speak from, from this side. angle. So he asked a question. We see too far. My bad. It's, it's, Let's just keep to that then. We see too far. End of. Okay, no, 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 I get it, but it's enjoyable, but unfortunately when it plays back on camera, he's actually doing rather a good job. Okay, fair enough. Fair oh, and you okay. can't have that, can you? No, you do the best job you can, but you want oh, to be for crying out loud. No, no, you just said it. You just so, said it all. Here's How can my you question. step back? No, I'm engaged in this. I yeah. came here you to discuss with you. Yeah, because you want to make sure I don't let you. Oh, good. Better things to do. Okay. Watch your test of a good theory. I'll tell you mine. Watch your test of a good theory. I was actually talking to this guy. He sounds good. No, I thought we were having an open forum here. Oh, no, this guy just wants to be No, I want to focus your attention on what constitutes a song that you think Watch your test of a good theory. How do you define a good theory? Testable, repeatable. Yeah, there's another word, I can't remember what it is. We actually agree, I think testable and repeatable. Falsifiable. Great, testable, repeatable, falsifiable, and self-consistent. So you don't believe it? Are you making that up? No, I'm not making that up. No, that absolutely has to be in the mix. Self-consistent. Do not buy the premise of self-consistency. Well, if that's so it's not upside down based on that. assumptions, right? Everything is based on assumptions. Well, then it, nothing could be self-consistent, can it? Water's level. You don't have to assume that, mate. Water is level. You're talking around in circles here. Water is level, and that's a fact. And we can measure it in your bottle. We can measure it in a lake, and we can measure it over the ocean. So, slam dunk your globe, your spinning ball. You don't want to talk about curvature over the water. You want to come here and straw man bullshit. Bring me water curving. Bring me water curving and bring me the spinning earth. You can't believe it, but your religion is under attack, my friend. Your religion is attack. That's a good premise to start. Observation, measure, test, repeat. If I got if I got a clear yeah, hose, ice is a, yeah, ice, it's already in water, ice, yeah. and water, Mark ice is a mass, here. it floats up I because you it is a good finish. thing lighter than water. You, you keep on shifting ground no, from the basic you're laughing, you're laughing, you're laughing at what you can't get over level water, pal. You're still in the shallow end. And you're wasting time on redshift and yellow shift at brown shift. Wasting time. Earth is flat, man. Water is level. There is no curvature to water. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 Well, show me curving water. He doesn't want to talk about it, but water is level over any lake. Have you ever seen in, in Saudi Arabia, they've got that, uh, they made that like mini earth, where they've got like, where you can go and live on these little islands they made to look like the earth. You ever seen that? The oceans are flat, bro. They've got, all, our, all our bodies of water that we can measure are level. All our bodies are water level. Because you and flat. But then people don't want to face up to this. Are you on the top? Are you on the top? On the ball? No, I mean, are you on the top of the ball? Me and you now. I don't want to be on the camera. Okay, sorry. Are you and me now on the top of the ball? What about I see you do this. I see you do this. Sorry. No, I'm filming me. Yeah? Me. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so... Yeah? So, you and me... On the surface of the Earth. On the yeah? surface of the Earth. Who's, who's underneath? Underneath, I mean, if you... I mean, 
like you here Australia, and Antarctica would be right at the bottom. If you're gone, you will okay. still be standing on the side. So when you when you come from South Africa, yeah. are you flying up the side of the wall? It's, it is still flying, but it will start to curve, and it's because of the gravity and because the water is so big. Yeah. it doesn't really look like they are just kind of like. That's curve. what I was taught to say as well. But what if I we, think that would make more we, sense. Like it's what, a gravity yeah. center. Yeah. No, what would make? No, what would make more sense? It wouldn't make any sense. Have you, have you seen an example of a globe? How, how would you ask like me, the, answer me this because yeah. what makes more sense to me yeah. is a swimming pool. Yeah. Okay. Is a lake. Okay. Yeah, with flat water and okay. there's something around it to keep it in. That's what I see in reality. Show me one but example. Like, you know, okay. yeah. Show me one example of a globe which is holding water underneath. I and, mean, how and would people you, can how walk would you explain other planets like in the sky? Planets? If you have like a very powerful camera, okay. if you very zoom in, yeah. you can spot Saturn or Mars or even like Moon. Yeah. How can you? Uh, I've done that. I've also uh, seen how can you uh, explain those? Those are electromagnetic lights. They are energetic. So those are lights. You yeah. Say. See, rocks don't float, bro. What about moon? rocks? Don't float. What about moon? Rocks don't float. It's a light. That's also a light. A light. So that's not like a solid uh, object. No, 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 no. Even rocks the moon. don't float. In reality, have you ever thrown a rock up and it stayed in the air? But that that is that would be the See? gravity of Earth. Oh. But the moon is far, far away, and it's like locked uh, in the gravity of. Okay. The these sun. are these so are. That's why. Yeah. These are the reason. These are the excuses that we're all told to give to what we see but I was asking you in reality not in your imagination so there's because like, you know point huh? like above the surface when you once you escape or go up beyond that point then you're free from falling from falling yeah so you kind of like float in space have you ever done that yeah I mean it's I've seen it like have it, you done it Personally, yeah. I mean, I would love to do it if That's I'm given the opportunity. Yeah, of course you haven't done it, so you don't know. What I suggest to you is that when you see someone on TV doing that, it's a magic trick. So how come, so say if you're flat earth and we are like on the top or yes. living yes. on the surface, yes. what's like beneath that? I don't know. So you can't even explain that either. I don't need to. So how like people I'm are trying not living to the other remember. side of it then? Because they fall off. So then, you see, if so what I had a, if I, if my brother, if I had a table, yeah, and I told you you can either eat your dinner on top of the table, but that, that or un, uh, underneath the table with your ta your plate up that way, what do you think are you gonna say? That's no, 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 no. That's that, stupid, right? No, that is stupid. That with the gravity of the earth, right? Huh? That with the gravity of the earth. You, 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 wouldn't be you wouldn't know you were upside down. But, I mean, if the table did not have lights, it would just fall. It's the same thing can be applied to flat earth. Then why is it like it's holding? And what is the gravity uh, underneath? Like okay. fishing? No, well, we, we don't necessarily have to say we know the answer to that. Like a round circle or so, okay. sphere planet would make yeah. more sense than flat earth. If anyone would like to think about uh, it. So, but, but it make more sense in because you've seen something like that in nature? If we, yeah. Give me an example of one thing in nature. I mean, that, give me an example of one thing in nature. No, other than you're, you're presupposing the globe. Give me so you can't presuppose the globe for this answer. You give me an example of one fruit or vegetable. That's too or, small. You have it. You have it. No, no, no. It's the mass of the object that creates the gravity. In science, it's, it's, it has to. Be okay. Well, you haven't you haven't heard you haven't heard what I'm going to say to you. Well, okay, sorry, go on. <laughs> yeah, 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 me, I'm not talking about gravity. Now. Okay. Give me so one fruit that doesn't have a skin. The gyroscope. That doesn't have a skin. skin or a one fruit, like an orange or something, that grows its fruit on the outside of the skin. Outside of the skin. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I've seen fruits. No, they like peel. by nature, sometimes it happens. They peel. They peel. Without. Yeah. You know it. Don't lie to me. You know it that everything has a skin. If I took the skin around the bark yeah, of the tree, yeah, the tree will die. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. I peel the orange, the orange will dry. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so why in nature would this not be have a skin? Why would God create a world in which its fruit couldn't be protected inside skin. the skin? Yeah. And so I say there has to be a skin. Thermodynamic science yeah. demands that there has to be a container if you want pressure. Yeah. You have to have a container for pressure to build up. And that's what we see. So, you know, is there something like water above, like the Bible says? Maybe. I don't know. And I'm not making claims. I'm not here to make claims about what the earth might be. 
Right. I'm telling you that is not a globe. That, it, that we live inside a globe, inside an orange. We are maybe, if you cut that orange open like this and you look inside. So do you think has anyone like reached the age of the earth? Were well, you listening to me? Yeah. You cut the orange open at the equator. Look inside. What do you see? A little star pattern yeah. and with seeds. Yeah. If I made that orange 20 trillion times bigger, those seeds would look like islands or continents. Yeah. That's nature showing you itself. Right there. Show me an example of nature. Sorry. Show me. You're a dick. Show me an example of nature. You don't need to use language. No, but he's been like every time he he loves to touch me. That guy. I think he's a little bunny. Show me an example in nature of water working its way up the side of the outside of a globe. You know, for a tree to raise water, it has to squeeze and pump it up to get the water up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it fills it up and makes an apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that apple eventually gets too heavy for the tree and it breaks and falls back down yeah, the ground. Yeah, yeah. So the apple, the tree lifted the water yeah. and then it fell back down the ground. Yeah. That's all that that is. Things you go up, hot things rise, cold things sink. Yeah? That's all we've got. We live in, a, in, a, in an up and down system. Hot goes up, cold goes down. And anyway, and the further you go down, the hotter it gets again. The further you go up, the colder it gets. I mean, I respect your opinion, but unfortunately I can't agree with you. You don't have to agree with me. Just know that you can't measure curvature over water. And if you think that I'm wrong, prove it to me. Come back here next week and tell me you found curvature over water. But you won't, because I looked for years. And there's no curvature over body. So it's okay. You can, okay. As I say, I know, but because the Earth is too big, that's why it will look flat on the surface. Uh, if you go uh, like high enough, you yeah. will start to see the curve. Yeah. So according to scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson, you can't. Humans have never been high enough to see the curve of Earth. You can't get high enough. You know, International Space Station, the rockets, and the satellites, Google Earth. Okay. So when you get home, Google satellites in space. Every image you will have is only a cartoon it's not a photograph of someone saying there goes our satellite boom in space no satellites are they do a little bit of our data but most of the data that we get today goes undersea cable okay, now so now whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so satellites are that we have are used using helium balloons to stay at 200,000 feet for six months that's how i've been doing it for 50 years that's the satellite program rockets go up to about 80 kilometers high and then they come back down into the ocean the iss is done by three things one the vomit comet plane gives them the zero g for 45 seconds and they film a clip they use uh, three they use a uh, layering uh, blue, uh, blue screen type layering to layer in technology so that they can appear to be uh, doing things in weightlessness but we've seen things fall one other assumption yeah. that you made earlier that got me interested how uh, like can you explain you know the planets in the space you said those are the only lights the can luminaries like the ancients said these are lights these are energy points and the, the wandering stars are like pluto um, uh, mercury venus mars those are on their own track just like the sun is on its own track the and the moon and then the main star like the uh, constellations the 12 constellations they are fixed like a like a, a mirror ball or like a disco ball and and yes and that's when you look on a powerful tele uh, camera that's all you see you see you lease there's no mess uh, you see only light flickering that's what you see a repeating light pattern when you look under a telescope that's got software in it that software will render you an image that looks like NASA uh, uh, that's what we're told, but actually it looks like the same pattern that's happening again. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, and you see that same star, you see the same repeating pattern. And these patterns, by the way, match what we see when we took a frequency. For argument's sake, for argument's sake, so, so you discover, like, say, tomorrow, that Earth is spare. How would you justify you know, your comment that you made today? What would you say? What would you say if you found out it was flat? And I was saying, you know, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I believed it was a globe for 47 years. Yeah, you know, that's what I would say. Sorry, I was so, wrong. But what would you say to that? Like, if you really find out that Earth is flat, it's not. It is just here, like a, argument said. Well, then I would, if, if there was great evidence, great evidence that showed me that water was, you know, lived on a globe, then yeah, I'd say, okay, wrong. But, but science, sorry, observable science, testable science, measurable science, says that our water bodies are level, so we can't measure any moving of this of this earth. The only thing that moves sometimes is the air, but otherwise, uh, the, the earth is not moving at all, at all. And, and, and you, you know, I've looked, you know, back in the 1800s, they were doing 
interferometer experiments. And for 30 years, the best French and British scientists did these interferometers. They were trying to prove the Earth was moving. They had to fail. They failed. They couldn't prove it. I'm going to The sun is smaller than Earth. Of course it is. The sun is a small light. It's a small light. I don't want to go into what shape it is. And it's not a complete sphere. Well, I can see a round thing. Whether it's a ball or not, I don't really... I suggest, to because our sun gates. Thank you. Have you lived in the United States? I've visited there a few times. I traveled all the states. Uh -uh. But you know what? I traveled from the east coast to the west in 1988 and back again. Here's the thing, yeah. Well, by South African race. But where, here's the thing. When I, when I left the east coast at sea level and I got to the west coast at sea level, I'd gone up by 1,000 meters and then I descended by 1,000 meters. That makes sense on a flat earth, but not on a globe, because there should be a whole amount of bending of this thing. That should have meant I'm going to... Good luck, brother. I heard there's a strange anomaly from when you're on either the, the bottom of South America, like Argentina or South Africa, and you're analyzing the Southern Cross. Yeah. You know when the Southern Cross, um, yeah. it basically, you know the Southern Cross, yeah. basically, even that's Point south. Shit, yeah, when it goes up and down to the equinox, they say when you analyze that, analyze it of its actual passage, it tells it all the, the Southern Cross. Yeah. Of the, 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 just analyze that. Every time it goes up and down. Why, why don't scientists, I won't go into the top of the flat earth because it's a bit touchy. It's a bit touchy. I've got my understanding of it. I'll just give my understanding of it, but I won't give a definite, like, I won't give an actual 100%. Yeah. The yeah. only thing is that there's been lasers, people's been on on actual the sea, and when it's being calm, they've done lasers from one point to the other. It doesn't demonstrate a curve. Yeah. When you have a powerful laser, it, it shouldn't it shouldn't be able to reach the other yeah the, the it's Americans the most basic a, one. Americans have got a rail gun they shoot a ship from ship to ship at sea level for yeah. 100 miles and that thing's going line of sight yeah it's not curving it's not doing anything it's 15 miles yeah that's the most basic you know yeah that's the basic one yeah 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 no no and that, so for me it's not so much okay so the earth is is not what we've been told it is and why and also i really like talking about this too much but even the dynamic of the geography it's very, I'll tell you how they've, they've done it though, it, I must say the way they've engineered it for us to think how the earth is, we're more surrounded by the actual uh, the Antarctic, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, more surrounded it. by it, and it's a very high, they don't like people going there because if you follow it on a book, it's just a very high fucking weird wall, yeah. and what's strange about it is when there's actually trips arranged to go there, there's always been something to stop it. Yeah. Because even Reynolds before finds, COVID, yeah, yeah, even right, before yeah. COVID, there's a big trip arranged by a lot of millionaires, um, a lot of celebrities to go there, and then COVID just comes up, and then oh, all of a sudden people can't go there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Strange way. But what I do believe, though, I do believe the leaders. They are. They have a foot on the neck by a primordial family that is way above them. All right. That's yeah. So I don't. I don't really blame the leaders for being yeah, lying and stuff. They just got their foot on the neck by a They have no choice, no option. They're yeah, in yeah. I get. I get it. I, ent I, I kind of have sympathy with that I idea. I get it. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like truth though. You know, and so I think yeah. it's our, 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 we are called to kind of go and speak yeah. truth. But the truth is, when people threaten people's families or they kill people's yeah. family members, people put the truth behind closed doors. That's fair enough. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not 100% on anything because I've not brought any of my scientific equipment anywhere. I mean, you know, the easiest thing to do is just get um, some powerful balloons and then just go like on. Um, Go with ships close to the, you know, southern hemisphere and then go up. What, into Antarctic? No, just go, no, not into the Antarctic. You just go up and then film down. It's basic, it's oh, basic uh, uh, experiment, uh, uh. as in, don't take a ship off Argentina, take a ship off South uh, Africa, just send up a whole load of ship, a whole load of, uh, a whole load of um, balloons, and just have them just. Just take a whole load of 360, have about no, you I don't know, I think 20 cameras on different 360 views, just tap it. So flash, 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 flash. Just yeah. see what it does, and then analyze it from there. Yeah, well, we've got some high altitude stuff, and it all looks pretty flat from up there. 
this Frenchman called Picard went up there in the 1800s and when he came back he said he went up in a gondola to 10 miles. Highest human ever. So I went up there and looked flat among other things. So, and I, you know, at the end of the day, water's level, bro. You know, any lake you want to find me when it says still, it's level. But I think it leads to many other things, though. It leads to yeah. many things it's where... It's about what God is and who you are. Yeah, and, and it's, it's a very touchy subject because I think it also deals with the atmosphere and... Some people are saying the atmosphere is not going to be good gas, something that you can use. It's solid, yeah. yeah. You see, at well, some point it gets very condensed, as in, it might not be, it might not be what you think of an actual solid like this, but it gets to a point where the gas gets so condensed, hypothetically speaking, I believe being cheap, it can, it can cause things not to go through it, but I don't, I'm not sure. I've not had my scientific equipment to go and look. Hey, you got all the scientific belief, bro, right here, and you're in the temple of God. He said, this is all nah, you need. I'll be honest, it's not enough. I'll be honest. Nah, I, I, I won't give myself a little grand to so think I'll be able to understand the world and about traveling and see it. That's because you've been subjugated by you know, indoctrination that had you believe you are less than being everything the totality. No, no, but I have to travel. You have to understand, is it? Is it true science? You have to travel yeah, and see that. the... I'll give you that. See Explore the, it. Yeah, yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't sit yeah. here and just say, right, I know what that is and I know what that is if I don't travel there and see for myself. I, I, could, I couldn't give myself that, that yeah. vision of the Grand Lord. Yeah. Oh, well, I say to people, we are the center of the universe. Each of us is the, the hub of the wheel. You know, each of us is carrying the light of Christ, you see. And that light should be given full opportunity to burn brightly. But in this system, it wants to kind of damp that down, whether it's because, like you said, the ruling families have been put under pressure, or there's a soul journey that's trying to test you or prevent you from reaching the next level. What happened to your chin? Oh, I had a surgery, ah. pilloid, removed, and then I've got another surgery coming up to remove ah. the rest of the day. Ah, <laughs> no, it's not nice. Yeah, no. yeah it is what it is, bro. Yeah. Good luck, bro. I'm going to get me some water. I'm going to stand back and try this out. Please, yeah. Hey, Nick, have you learned you some uh, interesting things? Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Yeah. Cool. I'm not entirely convinced, but having said that, I've learned a lot that I didn't know before. So I'm really glad. Awesome. That's good. That's good. This is a tremendous thing. Barry with a double cup. You took the bus down, you came down with the bus. It's trying to die. Sometimes it counts. It's a double cup. Don't worry. You got to burn me in the Yeah, I'm not sure about burning it actually. I'll see how the dates work out for me, but I am going to um, the next uh, part. Yeah, I'm not going to go in. Yeah. I think Spain's going to burn with on Spain. <laughs> you off? Are so you going to cut your stream? Oh, you've been streaming? Just streaming. Oh, huh. <laughs> by a five foot woman you cowards 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 look at you mobbing a five foot woman you so called lions of islam you're mobbing a five foot woman because you're cowards you're cowards you're cowards you're scared by a five foot woman because she can beat any one of you in the beginning any one of you as she does every single week Weak in, 
week out. My dear friends, I want, I have a good idea. I want to take all Muslims and Christians and Jews and put them in one church and see who will come out. <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> Uh, they are in one church, they just can't agree. I mean, even inside of each of those religions, there are people who disagree with each other. You see, even inside, inside Islam, inside Christianity, there are differences of opinion. Very strong differences of opinion, actually. But they don't think the way you think. These, they are violent, it's not yeah. debating. This is violent, yeah. every Sunday. Is it, uh, I pay five pounds every Sunday to come and see the photos. <laughs> oh man, yeah, but... So I, I'm not sure. Who, what's the lady? Who's the lady there? Because it's Putu. 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 Yeah. I haven't heard. I'm not that. I've been out of the loop for a while. She has been stabbed before. Stabbed? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Muslim. No, she's Christian. She's Christian. Yeah. She provoked the Muslim. Yeah. So Muslim stabbed her. Yeah. Uh, you see, that's interesting. Huh? Oh, what a brave lady. What can I say? It can't end well, you see. It will always be. There will always be a contention, and there will never be. There will never be resolution. Oh, let me say goodbye to Dave. 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 Where are you going? Are you off? All right. I've got a train back. Where am I going to see you next? Are you on tour? I'm um, not on this tour now. Uh, uh, I can't make it. That's why I came here. Oh, okay. Do something. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll run into each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, how's the family? All right, thanks. Yeah? yeah, all good. Yeah, yeah, we're actually doing okay. It's been a crazy few years, but oh, yeah. we're doing we're everyone. all right. We're everyone. Well, I'll see you yeah, again, Dave. See you, mate. Good to see you. Okay. Cheers, man. Uh, I think it's um, time to pack up. I'm actually exhausted, so I'm really good. Yeah, as, I, uh, as I was saying, um, I think it can never... This is the problem, is that religion will always... Be a side, take a side, you know? Until it uh, changes. Until it changes. I think uh, humanity is gonna. That's why the flat earth matters, you know? Because when people know that, they start to break away from it. Break away from what it was. I'm tired. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in Bath. It's my next day. How about it? Just come out of St James's Park. Notice how we changed street level. So the street level's just gone up ten foot. And um, I mean, what a weird way to do a door, right? Just to do it down like that. That makes no sense. Let's see what else. This will be covering. These cement slabs are covering a hole beneath which in that side has got some kind of chain system down into the windows below but there you go, there's a grid down there so, and then this is what they do, they have to do is they have to create these gangways here to get into the new windows so this floor doesn't make any sense given how high these floors are above this floor all of a sudden is well, somewhat short so they have to create a new doorway and this here <coughs> none of this is carving it's all formed concrete Let me see, can you? you can see it and it's all like fading it's all breaking away here and um 
I look at this quite a lot. I think this is cladding on an, on an original building and they had to clad it to create this doorway, for example, because this would not have been a doorway. The doorway is at least 10 foot beneath our feet. The original doorway, just like that street is 10 feet beneath our feet. So, you know, it just, the, the scope of the works to have to dig into the ground on such a grand scale in the 1800s, um, it just, it beggars the belief. Do, the equipment, the manpower, you know, we're talking about a much smaller population, you know, if everybody was engaged in this. I mean, you look around the UK, in the 1880 to 1900 period, there was so much construction, this place must have been a complete building site, according to the narrative. But there wasn't that many people, and they were smaller people. So why were they building such massive floors, hard to keep warm? Yeah. So no, we don't think that any of this stuff is legit per the story told. If we could go in here, we don't get in very much into these places. But this inner sanctum activity there, I just, I've got to say Mandela effect keeps coming up for me. Yeah, this is all being covered over with slabs, but there'll be nice rooms down below that are now storage rooms and other. Oh, the air conditioning. Yeah, this is air conditioning ducts that were put in in the 1800s because they knew air conditioners were going to become popular in a hundred years' time. Yeah. See that crane up there? You know how it could, it, could, it could let its ball down, its hook and ball, it could let it down 50 meters or 40 meters and the guy could stop work on the weekend, on Friday, and come back on Monday and unless there was wind, that thing would have not moved at all. If we lived on a spinning globe, the forces attracted to us turning and spinning and moving in all these different directions as we go around the sun every day or every year, um, we definitely get that thing spinning. Like they say, folk called pendulum does. Well, that thing should start moving too, but it won't move unless there's quite a strong wind. That's a beauty, that there. Parliament. We were in um, uh, Whitehall. And there's obviously the houses of Parliament. Parliament. You see, again, like windows at street level, eh, Nick? These, these, these windows in here are at the level of the street. Um, and again, that doesn't make any sense to man or beast. You know, you build up because that means that actually the floor for that, if you think about it, the floor for that is at least three feet below the window sill. So you, to get to that floor, you actually have to build in the stairs downstairs quite a bit just to get to, to what would be the first floor. I marched past here once, past the Queen, she was standing right here, right here where I am now. And I marched past here and my South African veteran contingent gave her the salute and whatnot. That was 2015 and already my world was starting to fall apart. I was already starting to see cracks but I was kind of still clinging on. Oh, I was... We all try to cling on. Huh? We all try to cling on. <laughs> much more comfortable clinging on. <laughs> oh man, as many days this last few years I've said to myself, oh, maybe the blue pill would have been better after all. It's been so painful. Downing Street. I think I once walked down there before all this gate was here in the 80s, but I, I can't be sure now. I can't be sure. Just like in the wonders now, I want to say, Bar come out to play. <laughs> I believe he's, he's sacked himself. See down there, there's also lots of strange looking. I mean, this is Downing Street. Down there, it looks grim. He's remaining in position in the sort of class Schwab can appoint a successor. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, so you think Klaus Schwab is like a, a big, 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 big guy? I was saying to someone else, I think, um... Well, let's put it this way. Yeah? He'll take his orders from someone. Yeah, no, I think there's a beast at the top that we don't know. Oh, look, absolutely. Um, an unseen hand. Maybe it's just some frightened little man behind a curtain. But look at these windows. Um, 
frightened little man behind a curtain. Or, you know, there is some kind of extraterrestrial thing going on here. These little... Uh, to be fair, this is a later addition, this ramp. But of course, it shows that there's windows right at street level. Right at street level. Um, danger, don't fall down in here. That's not too deep. I've looked down into some of these. They've been 5 meters, 15 feet deep, these recesses in some buildings. I was in Bournemouth uh, recently looking at them and uh, other places I've seen the same recession all the way down. And you suggest that I'm going to build my building from, I'm going to dig foundations another 10 foot, 8 foot down in front of this retaining wall that I've been, I've had to build beforehand, dig out, remove that soil and take it somewhere using horse and cart. And of course that We've moved, we've moved millions of tons in order to do, to do all of these buildings below the ground. Like, look at those windows in there. Those windows under the street there. You know, we've moved all of this dirt somewhere, but there's no dirt pile to, to show that. And again, it would be like, hey, why don't we all agree to build our buildings just a few foot taller, taller and then no one's going to lose out anything. We won't have to dig all into the ground. Put our windows at street level. Look at those beautiful floor heights. And then this little truncated floor here. It's all the way along. Look at these windows, Nick. So you know how much rain and whatnot you're going to have to deal with. You know? And every one of these you see, they're always full of crap. Always full of shit. It's hard to, even in the modern times, keep them clean. So how did they do it back in the day? You know, and how much water ingress are you dealing with there? Rains, it's just pouring into your roof. People, when they're drunk, they come and have a piss. Yeah, but there were wooden, actually wooden frames behind that. Wooden floor. frames. So, and again, why would you do that? Okay. I've been into a building, in a, a stately home in Norfolk called Letton Hall and down into their basement and there are window frames bricked in below the ground level window frames below ground level bricked in and it really supports this idea that we're under mud that there's a lot of this in fact on that same site the farmer next door is, is paid not to, not to dig this field that he lets his sheep walk on but he can't dig it he can't till it because because there's a village uh, underneath the, the field um and then that, not far from there in chroma they got a village that they can see the roof of the towns, the old town, when at low tevel at, Pro, at Proma. They can see a low tide, they can see the, the tops of the roofs because there's a town out at sea. Really? And they can't, how old is that? How, how long ago did that happen? That that town is still there and the ocean hasn't washed it all away, destroyed it all. Um, I'd suggest to you that that Would have been, yes, could have been added been later. Way. And they filled in what would have been a window, and, and then, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's the existing frame. That's it, the typical brickwork, but that could have been newer. Yeah, yeah, and then this will be. They haven't dug into this one, um, but all of these buildings will have basement. All of them will have at least one basement floor. I went into a restaurant uh, in Liverpool Street area and there was two floors, maybe two and a half floors below the ground. Um, so, you know, and it's like no one dug that on purpose, man. You don't dig holes. It's so hard to dig holes, particularly if you're doing it in the 1800s. No JCBs, but people are trying to claim they had steam. They had some steam stuff, but I, I just don't see it on the scale of being able to do this amount of construction in a window of time, 50 years or, or whatever. I just don't, I don't see that capacity. Should we cross over here?
So over there, Nick will be um, on the left side will be windows as well. At the street level, they break those in or close those in. Huh? You would follow me. Well, these are interesting because this has got a, like a new facade on it, this wooden glass. So they probably changed it. You sometimes find that the height of the the height of the floor is not right, and in there yeah, you have to walk upstairs at the back. So there's there's height changes within that within that shop. Um, yeah, you 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 can dig out more and more of this as you. As you start to look, you know, yeah, that's another example of not, not being right. What's behind this facade would be interesting to see, but this is, this is plastered on, this is bricked on at some point, I think, to cover up what's beneath it. And that variation in the heights. Mm, that's a versus lies. We're in Bath and there is so much mud flood downstairs or you know, stuck in traffic so I can film this bit. Down here it's all all of it is basement partial basement. I wanted to point out this building over there. See how the cladding and it goes up as far as that. I'm gonna drive past it now. trusty car that is uh, been gifted to us by Simon and so far over a thousand miles no problem we're here in Bath and this is where we're gonna stay uh, for a couple of nights um, and surprise surprise it'll be a basement so I'm staying in a mud flooded building can you imagine I mean the inside will be so um, uh, well uh, what do you call it? Um, it'd be so well uh, finished. It'd be so well. Uh, it'd be so well screeded, you know, that you can't see any evidence of anything else. But yeah, we're under the street here. Yeah, this under the street here, but oh yeah, look at that bricked in window. I wonder what it looks like on the inside. I guess it just looks like a wall, of course. In a bedroom. But that's not such a big deal. Climate catastrophe is coming. We should be terrified. We should be acting. What we do in the next three to four years will determine the future of humanity, according to him. Right. Just stop. More propaganda, eh? That's what you get for living on a globe.